Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Oil and Gas Holding Company, Nonka Holding, is Hani Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited Tatwir Petroleum, accompanied by a number of Board of Directors members. His Highness was received by Chairman of the Board of Directors of Tatwir Petroleum, Engineer Faisal Mohammed Al Mahrouz, and a number of company officials. His Highness was briefed on the procedures followed in the organizational, operational, and development aspects. The Companies planned for 2022 and the initiatives that will launch in the future to support the kingdom's efforts to develop the oil and gas sector, the measures taken to implement the highest standards of health, safety and environmental protection, as well as the development and qualification of promising national caters. His Highness affirmed that the oil and gas sector receives the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He noted that this sector is witnessing the implementation of many development projects that are commensurate with global productivity, which supports the national economy and the economic recovery plan. His Honor Sheikh Nasser directed to adopt the latest innovative technologies to strive towards qualitative and continuous development of the company's efforts, stressing Noga Holdings' board of directors' support of all development projects in Tadwir Petroleum and developing the work system of all operating companies under Noga Holding. For his part, Al Mahrouz expressed pride and appreciation for His Highness's visit, which will motivate the board of directors to implement the company's plans and programs that are in line with the strategies of Noga Holding's board of directors. He stressed that the company is making great efforts to launch more initiatives that contribute to the development of the oil and gas sector in the kingdom. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed and the Vice Chairman of the Government Service Centre Evaluation Committee Dr. Raad Mohammed bin Shams visited Bahrain Post to honour the team that contributed to obtaining the gold category classification of the evaluation programme for Government Service Centres Taqim 3. The Minister of Transportation affirmed that this comes as a result of the distinguished efforts made by those in charge of postal branches in compliance with the observations and standards of the evaluation committee which was positively reflected in effectively providing service to all citizens and residents he commended the support that the program receives from his royal highness the crown prince and prime minister for his part the vice chairman of the government service center's evaluation committee affirmed that the competitive and forward for looking vision of his royal highness the crown prince and prime minister has a clear strategic approach to developing government services provided to citizens The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and Head of Bahrain's delegation, Zayed Zayani, participated in the coordination meeting of the Arabic group participating in the 12th Ministerial Conference of the WTO with the participation of Arab Ministers of Commerce and the presence of a polypotentiary permanent representative to the UN, Geneva Ambassador Dr. Yusuf Abd Karim Bouchiri and Assistant Under Secretary for Domestic and Foreign Trade, Sheikh Hamad bin Salman Al Khalifa. During the meeting, they discussed the latest updates regarding the top of the WTO meeting and discuss the highlights of the Arab ministerial statement held in October 2021, as well as various topics aimed at supporting efforts to strengthen the multilateral global trading system at all national, regional and international levels. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Zayani, yesterday attended the consultative meeting of Arab countries and members of the World Trade Organization with WTO Director General Ngozi Okunjo-Noel. The meeting, which was on the sidelines of the second WTO ministerial conference, was also attended by Bahrain's permanent representative to the UN office and other international organizations in Geneva, Dr. Yusuf Abd Karim Bouchiri, and Assistant Under Secretary for Local and External Commerce, Sheikh Hamad bin Salman Al Khalifa. The meeting focused on discussing the expected outcomes of the WTO ministerial conference scheduled to be held on June the 12th to the 15th. The Arab group is seeking to reach an agreement on trade policies that help economic recovery in light of the current circumstances, taking into account the needs of developing and least developed countries. 
Raisa Cultural Center Vice Chairman of the Board of Trustees and Executive Director Dr. Sheikh Khaled bin Khalifa Al Khalifa participated in the 10th edition of the Forum on Thought and Culture, the Alliance of Arab Think Tanks, which was hosted by the Royal Institute for Strategic Studies in Morocco, in the presence of Shura Council Second Deputy Chairman Jamil Ali Salman, who chaired the first session of the Forum. During his speech, Sheikh Khaled said that the pandemic and the Russian-Ukrainian war had affected the balance of international power and human societies, noting that the neutral stances of the Gulf states in dealing with the global events. He said that health infrastructure and medical reparations have become one of the most prominent determinants of the future in the post-coronavirus period, in addition to the Russian-Ukrainian war that changed the balance of power, which rearranged the priorities of the Arab and Gulf countries and their various social, political and economic horizons. The participants issued their recommendations, noting that Arab countries should adapt their relations with the great powers in order to preserve their sovereignty and strategic independence. The Survey and Land Registration Bureau, the SLRB, is keen to achieve the highest quality standards and secure all real estate information in accordance with the latest international experiences and practices to provide easy and advanced services based on the use of modern technology, which is in line with the National Plan for the Real Estate Sector and its development. The SLRB has excelled in its digital transformation by facilitating and accelerating the achievements and attracting investors. It was keen on providing more services and facilitated transactions that depend on modern technology with the aim of achieving the highest levels of quality, accuracy and efficiency. The transformation began in the archive file with the conversion of traditional maps into smart maps and introducing renewable real estate registration systems. The SLRB has adopted the best international practices which gave it a prominent global position in the evaluation of the World Bank and made great leaps in the real estate field at the Arab and international levels. The Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning announced the completion of the first phase of the road development project for Block 917 in the East Rafah. The project aims to improve the internal road network and raise its efficiency and technical performance and include the reconstruction and paving of a number of main and secondary roads and parking lots. The project also included the construction of a rainwater drainage network trade water pools during the rainy season, in addition to providing sidewalks for pedestrians while providing traffic safety requirements on those roads. The project will serve the people and residents in the area and will contribute to facilitating the movement of citizens and resolving the problem of rainwater collection. And Bahrain achieved a crucial 2-1 win against Malaysia to go top of a Group E of the AFC Asian Cup 2023 qualifiers final round, which was held in Malaysia. Bahrain's team resisted the pressure applied by Malaysia from the off-leveled the score and came from behind to seal a win that puts Bahrain one point away from qualifying for the finals. Malaysia took the lead after 55 minutes in a counter-attack that allowed Mohamedou Samra to score. However, Bahrain less than two minutes later leveled the score with Ali Haram slotting home from close range. Ten minutes before the end, substitute Abdullah Yusuf scored the winning goal for Bahrain by converting a penalty. Bahrain now has six points from two matches. In the final match, Bahrain faces Turkmenistan while Malaysia takes on bottom of the group Bangladesh. <laughs>